Hello, 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 and welcome. Oh, it's night time. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Oh, sleep. <laughs> All right, time for bed. Time for bed. Ever. Hashtag for a streamer. Hello, and welcome to this new day in Minecraft. My name is John, and I am joined by Sean. Hello. And Dan. Hello. And Chris. But he can't speak right now. Or hear us. Yeah. You can just and, see him type in chat. And I don't know what he's doing. Chris is being Chris. He's probably Chris doing his thing. Chris and about the place. Oh boy. Tomatoes! Oh no, not tomatoes. Cherries! I have um, a So last time we set up a cobble works and it has been cobble working away and generating lots and lots of cobble. It was and full, but then I happened. It was full, but then Sean just came past, so <laughs> uh we've also got the basic tier sort of auto crafting, auto processing setup. Uh, with some small chests or small crates to go in between our uh, alloy smelter and uh, sag mill. And they've processed through all of the ores we've mined. We've got a lot of lead. We've got a bit of silver. We've got a bit of gold. We've got a little bit of iron. Some tin. Not a lot of copper. No. Not a lot of copper at all. Not something I generally think to pick up we've got some steel in here and that's been coming from uh, over here where I've got a crude blast furnace mm -hmm. um, and will be used when we do immersive engineering I believe railcraft also uses steel Uh, and I think it is nicely or dictionary so that we can use either steel from railcraft or um, ra railcraft or immersive for either way round. Mm. So between sessions, Sean, yeah, you'll know this because you were there. Yes. Uh, we laid out plans for where the trains are going to run. Mm -hmm. And so the train is going to run into the factory up on this level. Yes. Hence, um, hole in the wall. hence this hole in a wall. And it's going to run out to the train station that I can see in the distance there. Mm -hmm. And then it's also going to... A new building that we didn't have last time? Uh, which is a completely new building we didn't have last time, and I will go and have a look at in a moment. Uh, but then from there, it's also going to run out to the Bumbling Monk... Uh, what is it? The Bumbling Monk Tavern and Manor Works. Yep. And also then carry on further that way to where Rekia lives. I need to come up with a fancy name for my place, and I'm still pondering ideas. At the moment, it's just Rekia lives here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On my waypoints. Wasn't still Lizio. <laughs> um, so I think that what I want I want to do today is start to set up some train tracks. Okay. Because that seems like a sensible thing to do when you're trying to run a train. Yes. Uh, so I mean, obviously, one step of this is that I would like to get a train, a locomotive. Mm -hmm. Um, because there are a lot of options for that. Yeah, I can't say I've looked at the mod, but but it seems like, from what I've heard, an awful option. Uh, I'm just going to have a look in a minute. I'm just gathering up some raspberries to snack on over the course of the stream. <laughs> yeah. So looking at the Railcraft mod, uh, 
I don't think the Railcraft mod actually adds the trains, it adds the track. Okay. But Loco... Um, what, is that for the Railcraft, yeah? Oh, no, there it is. So we've got the steam locomotive, or we've got the electric locomotive, or the perpetuum locomotive, which is creative only. Right. So I think we want a steam locomotive mm -hmm. because that will run on, say it with me now, steam. <sighs> really? I thought it would run on coal. Well, technically, it runs on coal and water. True. Uh, although for that we that do... Means, that, means that, that means you've got to have something to produce coal then or charcoal. Alex yes. Ray. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah, uh, there is much to do. <gasps> oh, oh, I have much coal here. I can mine. Um, because I believe the other option is an electric train, or the other option is an electric train, but for that you need an electric track. Um, that sounds a bit more more work than a steam yes because for the electric track you need copper which copper. we're rather lacking in, right? which Coppers. we're rather lacking on right now There's, copper's like a kind of hard, hard material combine to be honest even in Diewolf uh, before it went here why I to be honest I didn't even have that much copper myself to be honest mm. oh how did you uh, how do you turn off the R jump? Where's it? Where is it on? It's in controls. Ah, there we go. Got it. Down kitchen. So, first of all, we need a metal rolling machine. Do we want a manual one? Or do we want a powered one? Oh, that seems... That seems yeah. tricky. Like, Let's go with a manual one because I know how to craft all of those things. Cool. I don't know what he's on about. I just do basic things. Yeah, this is the thing with doing all of the building work is uh, the space to do the tech stuff in. I don't like that half stuff either. <laughs> you seem to get by pretty well. Yeah, John gives me stuff. <laughs> John's like, John! Yes, I am here. Uh, yeah. EG's gone because of the flaky internet. Yeah, that's fair. I'm amazed he could get on it at all. Well, I'm surprised he was able to even have some form of connection. Mm -hmm. Well... Again, it all depends on it, really. So, John, are you doing a tour, or what is the plan? Oh, I should do a tour, shouldn't I? Never. I'm just trying to figure out where to put the stables there. Yeah. Uh, let me grab Binky, my unnamed horse. Yes, I meant you. <laughs> yes, you, dear horse. I put it on the back of the building to not. Could be cool. Hi, Sean. Hey. Oh my god. I think the thing with, with magic. Boom, craft. So, this is the station. This is the train station. <laughs> I've been busy. So would you like to show us around? Yeah, so essentially this is going to be the main entrance when you come in by foot. This, I want to be a train line down into the mines. Because I think that would be awesome to have a uh, mining setup. And I think over here I need to put some beds in. That could be useful. Sort of a little hotel space. Yeah, I think so. 
So Ooh, maybe when... I might build it into the hill. Who's Wendy find clay in mine? Do you know? This is the crazy stairs that I built, which is all chisel and bits did, but you know. Um, and so, yeah, this will be the different different areas so you can see the directions this all runs on the same level so our train line sh should be flat which is the plan so that's the way up to the bumbling monk this yeah. one's the factory and then, and then at the then... moment we've got Rekia's base here so he's out in the prairie so home well, home on the prairie yeah and then we've still got another three unknowns to work with, so I might rub another. Uh, we've got we've got options. Yeah. At present, part of me thinks one should really be a long track that goes over to spawn, but I think that's going to have to come off of the bumbling monk. I think that's, that's a I think that's definitely a possibility with the with the routing system. Yeah. So there's there's things to play with. Why do I want to? Why do I want to say so much? Because she used the American term. <laughs> and there is, yeah, basically, I need to put stables here because at the moment Chester Horse is chilling inside. No, this is Binky. Oh, okay. Chris must have taken Chester Horse then. You really need to actually name that horse. I need a name tag for that, and I only spawned in a uh, saddle. Well, it's night time. Um, and have people seen the updated bumbling? I've I I didn't actually know there was updates at the bumbling monk. Well, it's it's had some changes. Have they seen the chisel and roof? Uh, no, I don't believe they would have done. Because we did some branding, so that might be where after you've done a bit of building, drop past there and see what's going on okay uh, um, 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 um. well we're just gonna have to uh, sprint i've got no bed over here john so i'm sprinting over praying that i don't die Maybe bring a bed. oh hello i got stuck in a chest well, I mean, I, I didn't entirely mean for it to teleport you into the wall next to me, but, uh... I might take that other spare bed. I have, uh, four nickel ore, which is used for rail if you want. I mean, if you and don't want traffic. the poor nickel ore, I'll take it, but... It is only poor nickel ore, so... Is not ideal. Oh, it just came across you it. can refine stuff though, can't you? Uh, you run it through the just run it through the standard ore processing stuff, and it will turn into small piles of uh, uh, nickel. Yeah, that makes lots of sense. Right, so I've got that. I need a a lot of copper, bugger. Uh, so that takes four bronze gears, which take four bronze each. Each bronze takes each two bronze takes three copper. So each gear takes six copper. Uh, so four times six is twenty-four. And we've got nine. Mining trip. I have eight copper ore. And a bit of copper. I just never think to pick up. I'm going to head to the bumbling monk, have a look at the roof, and then head down into the mines. Cool. I assume Chris left Chester Horse over there. Because I think he went that way before he left, but... Poor iron ore. Um, right. Oh, upside. So I think I need to build it off. 
Dan's finding all of the poor copper. Yeah. All of the poor metals. Oh, yeah. the mark off. Very rough. Very nasty plate. One. Yeah. Need more coal. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. I'm just missed you. You're away. Can you not? Oh, cinnabar. Cinnabar. How many stables do we need, John? What are you thinking? Two or three? Uh, three, I think. Depends on the animals that you keep. It. Well, it's only for the horses. Um. So obviously I have no use for using like the poor stuff. I'm gonna do anything to do with rail. Yeah, I mean chuck it in a chest and I'll hop past and Yeah. I love that, I'm just some... mining. Yeah, I'll just throw it. Uh I think I actually now just found enough copper just on the surface. Oh sweet. Well, so it's where you tend to oh. find it, man. You're in the meteor bit, yeah. I'm in the meteor struck bit, so it's right on, oh, like, no. it's mm. what would have been right underneath the surface. Mm. Yeah, there's a good amount there. I've been past there, but I've not picked clean, so. Copper is pretty common, but it's at very high Y levels compared to the rest of the. Yeah, you resources past it. so if you're sort of searching for what is typically considered the good stuff mm. yeah you very quickly get past it jesus christ i found a buttload of poor iron ore three three layers of like three by of iron don't mind me just doing some modern thing. thank you sean <laughs> Why? Why? I didn't, who's, who's... didn't even see what happened, but I assume that your interest, you, just, you, just one of the uh, usual. Wanna buy? Follow? Uh, ah, it's thank you very much. It, it's what? Yeah. Want to become famous and buy followers, primes, and viewers? No. Oh. Fuck no, off. Actually, I'm good. Thanks. I just love to get people. <laughs> oh my people. god, literally all this iron. Jeez. Iron food. It actually is. Not, I thought it was just 3 by 5 It's actually turned into like 6 by 7 Is that standard iron or low quality iron? So if you want that, if you want poor iron for railcraft, they've got a bot ton of Binky, seriously. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just stood on top of the uh, uh, on top of the alloy furnace. <laughs> Aww. He is an intriguing specimen. He's a very special horse. But we love him. Eh? <laughs> Kind of what I really want to do is get uh, crates, barrels. Crates and barrels. I kind of want to get compacting drawers for all of the uh, metals. Oh, right, yeah. And connect them up to the system the way that we've had it before. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I've got huge amounts of dirt over at the factory. I have ten dirt here. Okay. 
Uh, I think there's some over at the Bumbling Monk, though. Yeah, I'll hop over there and have a look. I'm just at... figuring out where the stable is. And there's a little bit of a lake. At the house. Okay, I shall go. Wow, I have... Uh... I said I have quite a bit of uh, poor iron ore. I've literally just managed to get, well, I didn't even finish mining it all. Two and a half stacks so far. Nice. Right, I think this is enough. Get out. Water. So I want to make a rolling machine. Which needs bronze. Dang it. Right, there we go. Keep putting blocks down in the wrong place. Seems to be a theme, John, have you noticed? My clicking ability has just gone completely out of the window. Oh dear. I think I want mostly standard tracks. At least at the moment. Yeah. What are the different track options? Uh, we can get reinforced track. Right. Which has 125% of the speed of normal track and is explosion resistant. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not a bad shout for where the track is lower. Uh, that is. That requires us to either use uh, six steel and three pulverized obsidian. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, where creepers can get on the line. That might be... Most of it should be raised, but there's a few bits between the station and the bumbling monk that that might be good for. Um... There's also high-speed tracks, but you can't turn on them. Oh. Okay. Uh, which takes gold, blaze rod, uh, blaze powder, and steel. Well, I mean, between between certain places, high speed might be a good shout. I think that's really for when we're going a lot further than, like that would be the track over yeah. to spawn. Yeah. More than any of the tracks that we're going to be laying out at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to start by trying to get us some standard track. Isn't that just something like iron and uh, sticks or something? Yep. Wow, well, it's... So is it vanilla track? It is the same sort of thing as vanilla track but they uh, railcraft actually hijacks the recipe for it okay <laughs> I have to steal chest of horse back where's my damn bucket have we got any because they keep getting used up in reference so that's the thing Chris often complains about as well. What buckets? We've got no buckets. Where's the bucket going? Just go grab some iron and make a bucket. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but I don't want to do that if I've got a bucket somewhere else. You just end up with seventeen buckets. Way you can break stuff back down. Uh, some stuff. 
Is that it's fine. And then I need wood slabs. Seeds. Yep, yeah, just the horses here. Just the horses safe. Okay, Sean. Yeah. What are your thoughts on a bridge? What on how we're doing the bridge? Yeah. I think for the most part it's gonna have to be stone. Um just for the fact that we're gonna need an absolute ton of it. I'd be quite interested to know how many blocks it is to figure out if we can... I want to be able to run under it. Okay. Um, Sensible. So it needs to be up on, on step. I quite like the idea of making it look curved with steps. Because I've got a kind of idea in my head that maybe at some points if there's like double width track, that maybe we could actually live under it. And I was thinking that you might do a line of andesite. Oh no. Because it's both wide. We've got a line of light down the middle. Then we'll have andesite either side for like the gravelly kind of effect, which is what's here. Okay. And then the like cobblestone either side of that, which means underneath the track we're going to have three deep space so if i can make a nice shape underneath we can do like we can fill it in and have then on some of them i assume we can fill trains up from underneath yes so it means that we can then put some of that mechanism actually underneath the track and it be hidden because so that'd be cool my question is, I've now got some track. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need to go make some more because we've not got anywhere near enough to actually get there and back again yet. Yeah, I mean, if you can grab a load of andesite, I honestly don't know how much we have, so it might be that we need to go on a mining mission to be able to do that. I believe we can just make andesite. Yeah. Because we're going to need a ton of that as well. Um, material that looks gravelly that we can make. I'm not too precious about the andesite thing. It just looks like gravel and doesn't work with gravity. Like gravel does. So it seems like a sensible option. If you need a load of poor iron ore, I have a <laughs> crap ton over here. I've You've got it for days. Into, I've literally just dug out into another little cavern and there's literally more iron, poor iron ore. And I've just got another like one, two and a half stacks of it. I'm like, oh my god. Does it look any different? Yes, you can tell the difference between them. Oh, okay. Because I can't say that I've ever, um, ever noticed. You've seen how, uh, iron ore is just kind of like, it's similar, it's same colour, just like with four or five dots instead of a full side, essentially. That makes sense. Use people. Ooh, don't want to drop that block. So what I've done over at the stables by the station, John. Yep. I've made a... Because I don't want people to 
blow up while they're on their horse. I've made a corridor that you can run in that's got doors, so it will be safe. I mean, it's always appreciated that you don't blow up on your horse. Yeah. As as someone who has a horse. Given that there's going to be multiple people on the server, it's not always possible to get to bed at night if someone needs, so mobs are going to spawn. Um... So yeah, there's a corridor that you can basically just like run in. And then you can take your horse into the stables and hope that's hopefully that's suitable. Uh, no, that's on the tree. Add some fluid conduit. There you are. Should make that a little brief carry on. Sorry, what was that shout? The game keeps making me pick the same piece of cotton that I've thrown down like way too many times now. <laughs> Hell bent on making sure that I. Are you sure you don't want this copper? Cop. There's the. I mean, if it was copper, I'd quite happy. Can't be free copper. What's it called? I do feel kind of bad that the uh, pathway through the stable is actually bigger than the stables itself. <laughs> do Seems I change that? Right. Uh, can I? No, it's fine. We'll put food and stuff there. Maybe. Okay, the cobble works uh, has been slightly modified and is now a andesite works. Okay, yeah, because we've got so much cobble. Right we've now. got enough cobble for the moment. I mean, you can make and site diorite and those ones as well. Whereas yes. Just that one. It makes. I mean, it can only make one at a time, but it, it could in theory make all of them. The only problem is, unlike with cobble, it uses up the water. Oh, uh, okay. Is there something we can have to? Up that water? Yep. Okay. I've got an aqueous accumulator. Cool. 
cool. Which is uh, currently um... accumulating aqueous. <laughs> As the name says on the tip. Can I sleep through the night? Yes, please. Otherwise all the mobs are going to spawn around me and I don't want to die. Why not? Doesn't make for the most cheerful of days. Ow. Ow? Get punched again. Get punched me. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can build some small bedroom stairs, you know, in the station, John. Yeah. Hmm. So they're almost kind of hidden. So I'm thinking that could be cool. Needs to be... Come on, brain. You're good at what you do. Alright, uh. I have slowly got used to the fact that you can place blocks under the edge of the block that you're looking for. And I quite like the feature now. <laughs> you can't hop into a furnace, can you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can, can you? Yeah, hopper on the top. And so you can put one on the bottom. Yeah, you should be able to put one on the bottom of the furnace. Yeah, no, I just want to need to put more iron or put on the furnace. Yeah. But I didn't know if you could funnel it in. Mm, yeah, it should do. John, do you have an axe? Ah. Not on me, no. Well, that's one way to get iron, isn't it? With poor iron. What? Just smell poor iron or into iron nuggets, and iron nuggets you can make iron bars. Oh, sweet. That works, yeah. But the only thing it requires you to have nine iron ingot to craft a iron ingot. Nine nuggets for ingot. Oh, right, yeah. But, uh, Right, I'm going to start to deforest some of the area okay. uh, between the train station and the factory. Yeah. Also, because I need trees. doors from taking on the block how do you stop frame doors doing what well you can click on um, you can click on it with blocks to like color it right but I don't want it to take on that color I like the look of framed door as it is but I don't know if there's a way to keep it as it is? That's a good question. Can I click on it with a frame? Do they just have like a frame block? Let's see if this works, because that would be cool if it does. No. Like therefore there should then be four through here. 
another empty box. Stables. Because that would be nice. Yeah, hopefully this stables looks the right John. I'll come have a look in a minute. on the map. That's so strange. It's like camouflaged. Is that because I'm just underneath? No, surely not. No, it doesn't. Right, I think I got most of the way here. Yeah. There's uh, a few trees still standing between us and the factory. But most of the ones that need to be gone have gone. But most of the ones that are gone are gone. Let's have a look at this. Just need some lighting now. Can you stick those dot balls in for me, John? Sorry, do what? I'll stick these in. Yeah. And those two. basically means we've got like a safe space that you can run into here on your horse hop off the horse or you don't have to hop off the horse to get to the safe space yeah hop in here and makes sense to be i just need to in the last yeah that'll do I wanted it to be sort of mad. That makes sense. Yeah, I thought, I thought andesite would be a good colour. I quite like the fact it's slightly greeny. Quite an intriguing tone. I don't know, I'm also very intrigued by the slightly Industrial Revolution-esque vibes of us just coming to this perfectly clear forest and chopping a big swathe out of it to run a train track. Yeah. Monk. <coughs> I 
shall I start putting the andesite in? Uh, yes, please. Um, and it's like being made. Oh, it's not being pumped out of the machine yet. Oh, okay, so I can just get out of there. That's fine. I need to stop sprinting everywhere. I keep making myself hungry. <laughs> First world problems. Mm. Oh, is it? Very much, yeah. Stone or something down the middle? Keeping you up, Dan. No, I'm just about a long day, really. Dan's never tired, what are you on about? Uh, uh, well, that depends. I can be tired. <laughs> That's your secret cap. Oh, I'm not too far away from my bed. Don't mind me. <laughs> it's not that far. If you can click on it, I'm close enough. Leave me alone. I should put some light in my house. Light. Yes, probably. Right, that's two stacks of track. Cool. Uh, John, do you want to sleep? Oh, I wasn't too far away. <laughs> See? If you can click on it, surely you're close enough, right? Yeah. Oh, so a thing I learned that is a very useful piece of information. If you're building and you need to keep your can't be bothered to climb it. Sorry, you cut out for me there. If you're building a roof and yes. you can't be bothered to keep climbing down but you keep hurting yourself every time you jump down. Jump. That it breaks sense. your fall. Sorry, you cut out again. You said jump. Onto your bed. Oh. I suppose it is like a bouncy thing, isn't it? Sorry, that very useful piece of advice. For some reason, Discord decided I didn't need to hear it. I have cotton. The source of all string and wool. Oh. It isn't spiders or trees. But, but I can't use it to make a bed. You have to put enough string together to make wool? I believe it's about four string turns into one wool. Yeah. yeah, there are trees with cobwebs on if you uh, right click. Uh, nine cotton to make a white wool wall. Ugh, loads. Mirror. Three I'm cotton sure. to make a string. Hang on. Why? Eh. Why can Alright. So with the cotton, you can mm -hmm. put it on a crafting table across the middle and it'll give you one string. But if you put it as an L in the corner, it gives you two string. Yeah, it'll be a different recipe from different mods. One is Natura and the other is Pam's Harvest. Mm. I'm just like, what? <gasps> you use cotton tide to make cotton candy. <laughs> really? You need a mixing bowl, uh, honey or sugar, fresh water or bucket of water, paper. Uh, whatever dye you want, and then a piece of cotton, and that's how you make your cotton candy from Pam's Harvest. You can harvest. become the man of many treats. Apparently, you can use ink sacks, red dye, green dye, cocoa beans, lapis lazuli, purple dye, scion dye, light grey, grey, pink. So you can yeah. make it whatever colour cotton candy that you want. I would assume so. Hmm. 
Uh, you can ferment it, ferment cotton to give you fertilizer Ooh. or mulch. Handy. So the andesite's now coming out into this drawer. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Do we have a power blip then? Or was that it restarting? Because the machine went off. It, uh, every time it runs, it uses up the water in it. But it's not creating a block each time, is it? Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah. It oh, should okay. instantly be exporting it into this drawer. Oh, is that drawer just not got a number on it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the key that does that. Uh, it was in a box over here, I thought. Oh, so I can use barley to, as basically as wheat then. Okay. Oh, was it the key in the, in the bumbling mug? Or was there a chest upstairs? No. Was it in the pudder? That's intriguing. How many? Throw some, throw some barley into a sawmill. You get a pulp biomass. Oh. Yeah, cool. I think that happens with a couple of different uh, like plant based things. And obviously, you throw that into a magma crystal and you get bio crystals. So, use bio crystals. Mm. Intriguing. Yeah, you can get it from like cactus, lily pads, which is good because I'm never by swamp anyway. Yeah, those okay. things. Okay. And then, obviously. Which, that's that'd be quite good at using sugar cane actually in a sawmill. You get you get uh sugar as well as biomass. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. But it requires eight sugar cane to get two sugar though, which is a big problem. They so kind of yeah, lose most but... of it to get some biomass. First. Same with all most of the uh. Oh, sure. Oh, nearly fell off. I'm gonna do some more fermentation. It's just bouncing my way along the track, minding my own business. Very nearly fell off the track. Found the key, John? No. Hmm. I, I don't know what chest it must have gone in. I don't know where any other chests are. Maybe Chris is holding. Ah, God, no. Oh god. What? Binky went under the roof as I got on him. Oh, yeah. Smart horse, that one. Hey. What? I mean, I could have insulted you. So I need to make a stable over here as well. Yes. Um, as fun as it is inviting the horse inside all the time and watching you get. How would the search with the mods? How do you make it just show one uh, group of mods? Like if you want. Uh... You at the mod. And that's it. Uh, we've got another one in chat again. Yay! It's the day Bye. of the bots. Yeah. Is it because it's um subscription rollover? Oh, probably. Subageddon, as they're calling it, I think. Really. Is that what they're calling it? Yeah. Because every month that's when all the subs suddenly disappear and people have to reset them. They don't auto. Red. Um, 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 um. Oh, yeah. So this is made of rusty plate and very rusty plate. Where do you think would be a good place to put the stable this building, John? Got any preference? I mean... 
Also, do we need a back door to get out to the water wheel or not? Um, might not be a bad idea. Because I could build some stairs or something out the back door in. Could we put the stable by the front door? Yeah. Like where the blueberry bush is. That side. I was so you thinking. You don't have to run around it. Yeah, that could work. Because there's the doors either side of that entranceway, isn't there? Although then it will be under the train line. Although that could be quite cool. I could build a roof up there. Oh, that could be the first thing we put in the curb, John. That could be the first thing we build into the arch. That could be cool. Ooh. Um. I think Shan's just the uh, thing. Shan's happy I now. Brains just. Uh, Kicked into high gear. No, I want you to see. How does one make. Oh, that a breadstone. God damn it. Bang it. Uh, compressed cobblestone? No. Uh, that is nine cobblestone. Yeah, I'm just looking at what I can make from just flat cobblestone that looks interesting that doesn't necessarily need to be chiselled right why Portuguese paper interesting dang it how intriguing is that it's Britannia living rock cobblestone and gravel white Portuguese pavement Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm thinking a tree farm. Okay. Because we're going to need charcoal. We're going to need a lot of charcoal. Yes, we are. So I think a tree farm, well, the bumbling monk was meant to be the agriculture stuff. But yeah. I, I wonder whether that's where we should do, I want to at some point get into doing bees. I want to learn how to bees properly. Okay. And therefore trees. So I'm wondering whether that's where we do the that side of stuff and the intensive tree farming stuff that we do over here by the factory I think it isn't going to be pretty yeah okay, I think this is going to chisel we had an issue with that with a mod before didn't we where the chisel wasn't happy yes auto, auto chiseler or something uh, do you want to sleep, John? Yeah, one minute. I'll be right up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it didn't punch me this morning. on Twitter um, Shayna's watching Live at the Apollo and Jason Lamford's on it oh cool um, and she just tweeted saying it takes her back to me and her going and seeing him and do you remember I said that he hopped out the car to check that she was alright oh yeah yeah because we met him afterwards and she he did a bit of like mental health talk 
um, at the end and she kind of was trying to say to him thank you for doing that it means a lot and just ended up ended up in tears and so we kind of wandered off and he drove past us um, and actually hopped out the car to stop and check whether she was okay and he's um, actually replied to her tweet now as well which is really sweet <laughs> and just said oh, I hope you're doing okay he's adorable uh, what do you yeah. use to break cobwebs to get and to drop string or do you just break them normally uh, cobwebs on a tree no, in a cave. In a cave, sword. you break them with a sword. Sword. It's Do we great. have right. coal anywhere? Not that I'm aware of, although there might be a little bit left in the furnace. It is are there, the four? That are behind the stairs. I can turn this back into coal. Did you check the furnaces behind the stairs, John? I've got some tiny coal okay. that I can turn back into less coal. tiny coal. Oh, that was pretty... How much string are you needing there? Uh, I just press a lot of uh, co cobwebs, that's all, and it's like. Are you in a mineshaft? No, I found the like cobblestone quartz, the like cobblestone covered, like. Why am I running into every hill in existence? Na -na -na -na. Pond. Oh yeah, I took my swimming boots off. Swimming boots? Mm. Yeah, you know we found dark... Yes. Dark stuff. This set I had had flippers. Oh. Hence, those boots were indeed made for swimming. Interesting. Uh... Interesting. Changes the song a bit, but eh. One of these days, these boots are going to swim all over you. Apparently, yeah. Steve's carts is a thing, isn't it? Yes. How do I build you? Okay. I feel like for now, if you've got the track for it, we should just make a loop at either end. What I'm going to do first is I want to just... There's space to do so rather than have to wait for the andesite to run through. Then we can just hop on a minecart <laughs> and throw ourselves down the track. What's this that you're doing? This is a tree farm. Oh, okay, where are you? Where are you tree farming? I am to the side of the factory. Is that the side that we might extend into? Possibly. Yes. This is a bad plan, isn't it? Might be worth just sitting a little bit further back over here or something. If that's possible. Sorry to be a pain. It's only if you ever need more factories going in this direction. <laughs> and we're just going to build a cut through to get past the um, coal coven, whatever that is in there. Coal coven. and crude blast furnace. I'll be upgrading the crude blast furnace at some point. Okay. Uh, needs to be an improved blast furnace at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
I'm making you a doorway as well. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Went too far here, didn't I? Yeah. Chisel out. Making, <laughs> making a doorway where, sorry, Sean? Where I'm stood. Oh, that cool. back by the, yeah, there you go. Now you'll be able to get in and out. That is the purpose of the door. Run the whole way round. while I go make some more train tracks yeah could you just do me a favor and just make sure that sort of all around that train track there's dirt yeah so fill in this hole here basically how far around it uh, just needs to be one or two blocks out go a little bit extra and just try and make it look natural. So I'm that way inclined. I thought you might be. <laughs> I just can't resist. Things just look better and they look like they belong. And they look like they fit and things might have spawned. What is it when these things does not look like the other? Did I make well one I've made a pair of trousers. <laughs> Did you? Look at this from above. Yeah, that is indeed a pair of trousers. Are they even? Yeah. Well yeah. the gap here isn't even. Yeah. Compared to the ones around there. I should make that even. Um, I've got the track to make that even. Yeah. I've got the resources. Also, I quite like the way the track just kind of runs itself. At least when you're doing simple things like straightforward tracks. Yeah. This fills it all in nice for you. This water wheel is running so well. I like it. It looks really cool. Quite like the idea that one day a mob is going to spawn on. Uh, <laughs> plop down into the water and just get stuck at the end. Because you can't get under the water wheel. Okay, Sean. Yeah? This is a cart assembler. Cart assembler, okay. From yeah. Steve's Carts. That makes, that makes sense. That's very sad for that to be done. There you go, it's got a door now. Been what? Yeah, yeah well. Uh, so with Steve's carts, you can make carts. Mm -hmm. uh, but rather than just your standard mine cart, which is a little boring, yeah, uh, you can make some slightly funkier carts. Um, there's a bed here. 
I've got bored of running up and down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go for some wood, but... Oh, hey, guess who's in chat? Hey! It's an Amy! That's hey. a human! Amy's a human. Unless they've been taken over by a bot! God, no! <laughs> oh, God! Hello, I'm back. Even though I didn't really disappear. Hi. Bold of you to... It is an Amy. Bold of you to assume I was ever human. I mean, yeah, is, that might uh, have been our mistake. Is that, is, that, is that going to be the new trend for 2020? Don't assume I'm human. Nah, because we've, cause we've had a bunch of bots. We were surprised that uh, at least partially human had appeared. Partially human. Well, so you're saying that Amy is not human? Well, she did say bold of us to assume that she was, so now I'm going to stop assuming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sean. Yeah. With the, with the cart assembler, we can build modular carts. So okay. rather than just being a cart that you can sit in and go to another place, which is the standard sort of thing, other we can give it Uverstoof. Cool. Uh, so this is a standard hull. Mm-hmm. That I have in my hand, and I've just put in the cart assembler. It allows us to add a certain amount of uh, equipment to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. Uh, and then you can also make, as you can see, it's got a modular capacity of 200 with a maximum module complexity cap of 50. Uh, we can have three engines on it. Um, so basically, it's one of those you're trying to balance. Yeah. The different needs. Needs of the many way out. The needs. Of... Uh, but then you can make reinforced metal, which allows you to make a higher modular capacity and a higher complexity cap. Right. Okay. Or for a lower. Um, modular complexity and module complexity cap but possibly an easier cart to make uh, you can build the mechanical pig <laughs> okay uh, which is five raw pork chops and a set of iron wheels oh wow I mean that is more pig than I was expecting uh, but what I want to do with this is make something that's going to harvest trees for us. Yes. Like you did before, huh? So what I want to find first... So there will be a, a mod that you can add to it that chops trees by the sheep. Yes. Sweet. What I want to find first is I want to put an engine on it. Because I want it to run on something. It would be nice if it moved and not just chopped down the one tree. That... Yes. So I'm going to start by building a coal engine. So how is Amy and is Amy human? These These are two very important questions. That I have right at this moment. New thing for 2020, don't assume anyone is human. Yeah, we'll make it. Amy okay. was just about to tell us, actually. Well, come on then. <laughs> come on then, baby of the group. So, Sean, if you're looking at the stream or just happen to pop back in here, you'll notice that as I've put a coal engine in there, a coal engine has appeared on the back of the cart. Oh, so it has. Yes, I see. Today, I got some reading and feedback work done. Also, Rekia, fuck you. And now I'm cooling down. <laughs> uh, we love you, Amy. Don't you worry. Do we have diamond? <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, we do. No, he don't. But yes, we do. 
<laughs> wow. Well, I'm just gonna go cry in a corner. <laughs> Amazing. Do it. Do it. <laughs> nah, we all love you, Amy. It's, it's fine. So, where are you off to, John? I can see you trotting about the place. I am galloping back to the bumbling monk because I think that's where we left the diamonds. Ah. This horse riding looks weird. Ah. I mean, it'll look weirder when I have to go and just kind of break through a wall because we've not yet. Well, because I keep distracting Sean from finishing the stables. Yeah, stop it. I'm trying my best, damn it. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I needed five of these. What's in a wood cutting core? Okay, that's all doable. Uh oh, fell down. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Many questions, John. Many, many questions. I keep brushing the uh, shift key as I cross that bridge. And it just means I'm running along and then suddenly I'm thrown off the bridge by my horse. <laughs> yeah, that's not ideal. Jack up. That was a noise. Was that a choked in a wall noise? Yeah. Always wondered what. So I need two of you to make one of you to make one of you and then mm, right. I think well, we're running low on iron as well. Probably. I feel like we need to go on a big mining mish. Yeah, I think you're right. Holy spaghetti, Batman. Uh, what is the Amy up to then? They're cooling down. Well, I'm upset for cooling down. She must be doing some. She must be up. Watching a live stream. Mm. <laughs> wow, a live stream. Hello, Captain Obvious. <laughs> yep, Amy says they're watching this. Katana! <laughs> I'm psychic. That's the, that's the obvious, but you know. So I can't anyway. remember what's I the. I get to be a captain. It's fine. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I was counting. That was what I was doing. Well, while you're counting, I'm trying to remember what the thing is that. No, 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 no. Oh, we can put a seat in these carts, by the way. Okay. Not that we need one for that. And a cage. Why? Uh, to trap animals. So what? If it goes past an animal, it will just scoop it up? I believe so. Hmm. So you could make a mob farming thing with trains then? Because I assume there's something you can do to kick whatever's trapped yes. out of the train elsewhere. Excuse me. Is it the smelter? My stuff. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that's what I want. So I need another one of you. And not a crafter. Twenty-two plus and forty-two up to sixty-two. Eighty. Oh, that's not so. Two. Hundred and twenty-two, John. There's hundred and twenty-two between here and there. Nice. I can count. I can count me. So the question being, what are we doing as far as keeping this? Um. Keeping this track up, do you think we do the curve and we just make the curve kind of descend into the ground when it's too. when it's not high enough? Do you think? What, for, the, for this particular run or for the other directions? I would quite like them to look fairly similar everywhere. I would say then we just keep the same sort of loop going. Okay. And do we start as a... Uh, can you sleep, please? Oh, yes. Um, do we start at the top of an arc? So you end up with a half arc against whatever building it goes with? Or do we start on a straight... Uh, start on a straight because I think that looks better. Okay, and oh, that means we can adjust the straight so that it fits basically. So oh, the other thing I thicker, want thicker straight if needs be. Where are the side chests on this? Uh, uh, is your horse? Thing? torches they they Glass. don't produce as, oh. no they produce slightly less light than them oh, okay because it would be good to put torches across it so that things don't spawn on this bridge john yes Chiseling for days. So I want. I think I quite like the idea of using. Is it jelly bean? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, what do you think to jelly bean, John? Jelly bean and a site. No, cobble. Cobble. Just the normal cobblestone. Hey yeah. Guys, 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 guess what? I have what? a bear. Yay! It's going to be a pretty hefty trap, but hey. It's going to be one of our main lines. So. Yeah. I'm not tying my string with me, I don't need to tie my string with me. Right, so Sean. So yeah, we're going we're going jelly bean. Cool. So I've now put the the cart together. Mm hmm This is the finished first level cart, because we can upgrade the tool on the front of it. Right. Because at the moment it's just a basic woodcutter. And while that'll work for now, 
if we want to up production. Yeah. I think it'll replant. Um, Only one way to find out. I'm fairly certain it replants with it. Uh, so this is... The cart has a maximum capacity of 200. We've put in 74. Okay. Uh, so now the, the only thing left to do is to fire up the cart assembler and wait for it to assemble the cart, which will only take 15 minutes. Oh, only 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Jeez. That surprises me. And that's in real time. Well then, you can help me build this uh, train track. Yes, I'm also going to uh, just throw fuel at the cart assembler because if it runs out of fuel, it stops running. Okay. That would make some form of sense. That would be annoying. So I'm just going to pop away the rest of the stuff that isn't stuff that I need right now. Yeah, if you grab some um, whatever andesite is there. Oh. Well done, Dan. Don't burn alive. Did you go for a swim in lava? Almost. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. That's warm up somehow. Okay, I've got as much andesite as we've got right now. This will be where Amy turns around and says, Ha, burning lava, Dan. <laughs> burning lava. Or oh, hell, up to you. It's pretty much the same thing. Do you want me oh to? Oh my god! Stop trying to kill myself with lava. Yeah, if you can just fill in that middle bit, and if you could take out the wooden block, if you've got enough left on the way back. Oh, game. Is this? Well, at least I've got lava anyway, so I can come down and get lava, which is good. La, 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 la. Oh, what is that? What's the, um, Disney lava song? Oh, you mean from, you mean from that show? Yeah, my brain's trying to sing it's, that, but I can't remember the words. I, I don't actually, I know of it, I don't actually know the song. I love that. I just it's know It's a great that song. All I know, it's a Disney show about a volcano. That's mm -hmm. all I know. Of that, I have no idea. <laughs> That's as much as my knowledge goes on that matter. Yeah, I got like some of the tune, but my brain can't put it together. I can think of the tune. I can't think Thank of you. the like the lyrics. You want me to put? Uh, you want me to play it on with DJ Bot or? Nah. Cause no, because really stream. I am going to find out after the stream, though, and sing. We're at 20 minutes. Uh, 20%, sorry. 20%. 20%, yeah. And that is 12 minutes to go. So the next thing that needs to happen is we need the trees cleared to the bumbling month. That's how it takes Oh, is it? I did this out here. But yeah, we can't have it on the... Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's just really cute. It is. Uh, right. Don't. I need food. Okay. Uh, Jeff's in the tower. Jeff is in the tower, yes. Jeff Fafar. We'll have Done. to go pounce on him when we're out of the stream. You can sing the lava song. I could. This is the thing. I, yeah, because uh, uh, it would be Disney. Disney like, ah. Uh, yeah, Disney are right on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but don't. Because then Twitch just uh, mute your stream or things like that. 
yeah. Because they don't want to fill with the rope. No point going against companies that size because you're going to lose. Oh, hey, look, speaking of Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. We were just talking about you, not to you. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're saying uh, uh, how we're going to kidnap you at uh, uh, MC. So you you have to stay the entire weekend. Damn this eucalyptus tree. Now have redstone. <laughs> oh yes, we're, 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 we're thinking of kidnapping you for the weekend so you, you can't leave us all. Dan misses you is the problem, Jeff. It's uh... He's never in any of the family photos. He's always a, he's always gone for those. I mean, that really just says more that we should take the family photo a day earlier for Jeff. Yeah. It also says that we all pretty much have Photoshop skills, so why the hell aren't we fixing these things? <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is also a good point as well. These like, are these are both yeah. excellent points. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day with stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's like. We all can Photoshop, so why don't we just do something about this? <laughs> we all have this skill set. No one uses it. I mean, I... Saying that, would we do good with it, or would we be evil? Evil? Duh. Yeah. This is a new overlay, you see, yes. Yeah, I was, I was looking at that. I was like, nice uh, Minecraft theme. Yeah, I uh, switched over the overlays to stream elements. Ah, I use stream elements. Uh, Chris started using their new, or I don't know how new it is, new to me, stream elements. Uh, could you guys sleep, by the way? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Can do. Yeah, because uh, I, uh, I need to relook at stream to what dogs. I know the uh, one that I did use was, uh, well, I do actually use it, is uh, World of Warcraft overlay for when I played what, stream World of Warcraft. Right. Mm. Oh. Well done, Bed. Thank you for putting me outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but no, go on. Uh, but yeah, no, I just literally, like, uh, Chris started using it, AG started using it. And um, how's it looking on the charcoal in there, Sharp? Fuel looks pretty full. Fuel. Um, and so I just had a quick look and thought, well, actually, you know, like, it does a pretty damn good job of pretty much everything I need it to. It's a stream elements. Stream elements is, is really good. Like, I'm having some issues setting the chatbot up. Uh, the same as chatbot elements. Chatbot elements sucks ass. If you're using... Uh, I would just use the other chat... The normal chatbot that you Streamlabs. Yeah, just use Streamlabs. Don't use Stream Elements. Stream Elements sucks ass. I don't like it. I, I've, I've tried looking at it and I'm just like, Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to use Streamlab. It's yeah, I think that's pretty much the decision I've got at the moment, is I've got it set up now so that uh, when I send out a tweet, uh, Stream Elements will send, like, will put that tweet into the chat. Mm. And when the stream starts, Stream Elements says, like, the stream has started. Yeah, I have that but set up. Well. beyond that, I think the Stream Elements chatbot is just going to stay silent. Mm. Stream Elements chatbot is just terrible. I just there's no interaction with it. What's it just it? I just don't find it good in any shape. But the overlays and everything else is really good. Mm. 
Jeff's like, I like it. Well, you would, Jeff. <laughs> I think he means he likes the overlay. He likes nothing. Well, everything. Everyone's short this way. That's true. I mean, the other, th the other thing that would normally be here would be a face cam, but we're not doing that tonight. I noticed you on you weren't doing a face cam. I, I wasn't going to question it. Wait, why am I doing building another eye in a hoe when I already have one? Damn. You're a master hoe? <laughs> I'm a master hoe! Need that to be said, come on. Yeah. <laughs> no one's no one's blaming you. I think I'm going the right way still. Are you going to the west? I'm going towards the bumbling monk. The real question is, have I gone stupidly out of the way of the train tracks? Did you stay on track? That, that is the question. Really? The pun. Really? <laughs> that is that is both the question and the pun. It is. It was the question before Christmas. Because the problem is, uh, there's a bit of a hill. Yeah. There is indeed. And and I can't see the train station anymore. Like I can see the roof of it. It it ploughs itself into the roof. There isn't a station there yet. Oh god. No, I mean I can't see the Did you do the title of the stream? Yeah yeah, I did the title of the stream. Of the stern. Stram. Professional strammer. We're all professional. We do. Okay. Like I, a bit like I just have to wait till I'm soon to do some more video work. I just can't be asked going out and doing some because the weather's been terrible. Yeah, it's been miserable. Uh, being out all day, and uh, weather's been fine. Uh. Later on, I was coming home, got a bit windy. Uh, walking oh. down home, it was more windy, but then I got rained upon. I'm like, oh. <laughs> now I'm soggy. Great. Great. And now we'll let. Oh my god, can my wheat actually grow? It's been like been three days. Now. Um, have you put worms on it? I don't have worms yet. I'm trying. I haven't been able to get any worms. If yet. you till the land, I know. Worm. I just haven't. Oh sure. Yet. Oh brain, click in the right place. I think we're pretty damn clear. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Cool. Uh... Uh, nope, that's a sword. I don't want to chisel a sword. Can I chisel yeah, a sword? Yeah, you do. That's a question. Really? Oh. I don't want to chisel swords. I'm not allowed to chisel swords. Why? I was hoping you could put some funky pattern on That would be insane. Really? It doesn't do anything different to it. Just... Really should build a Horn of the Wild at some point, or actually get Chris to make us a Horn of the Wild. A Horn of the Wild? Uh, it's basically a horn uh, of the wild. <laughs> I think it states in the name. It's a it's a musical horn that you can play that uh, clears tall grass. Oh, oh, interesting. Wait, Dan, you need you need stuff. Oh, you've got it on your desk. Oh. Blueberries, save me from this damn hunger. Let me try this. I haven't tried this out yet. Though I have no idea how it works, I'm going to test it and hope for the best. Always so a solid have... plan. Yeah, it's the Arabola, uh, the yeah, the Arabola extractor thing in the bob for trees. Okay. Fluids from a tree. 
Or you could make an underground railroad. There's one blow into it with the breath of the wild. Oh. All right. Only thing is, though, I need to have a redstone. Oh, we could make an underground railroad, Jeff, but we decided to Not. go overground here, and our mining carts, our mining. Um, we're going overground here and wombling free. Well, we can. Right, I'm going to let you do that. Well, what number did I come up with? Come on, calculator. Tell me what I was choosing. Nine. What can I put into this to make <laughs> it quicker then? That's a I... I don't know. Eight seconds. <laughs> The adjacent tree. Use fertilizer to bo ah. Use fertilizer to boost production. Not every tree will be produced. Put mm. down the app. Okay, Sean. John. I have the <clears throat> minecart. Cool. So if I'm not mistaken, that goes in <clears throat> there. Stage. And that goes in there, and away it goes. So, as you can see, Sean, it is now going round planting. Oh, it is planting them as well. Yep. Awesome. And so, do you then have to make somewhere that it can offload? Like, yes. is there a certain crack or something you put in? Uh, there is a cargo unloader from uh, Steve's carts that we put in that we tell it to unload the stuff and then we can give it back some charcoal because uh, at the right. moment it runs on charcoal. But in theory, it should go round and just make us charcoal. Okay. I just find it amusing how a crafting station is actually made. Mm. It's an odd thing. Mm. Might need to relay the tracks a little bit better. Oh, slightly more spread out? Yeah. Why is it not doing the in-between ones there? Because uh, there's not enough space for it to plant the trees. But it's done double the row in front of you. Oh, good point. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, we can make a bigger version of that. Five and ten. When we need to. Yeah. Um, Do is I... that laggy? It shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad actually because it's not forcing trees to grow particularly no it doesn't anything, is it? it doesn't do anything to speed up the growth of trees so what i'm going to do now is try and find some bone meal to speed up the growth of trees yeah um so do you want it to be night time so you can go and fight some stuff nope i got some so you can take a nap I can sleep. Nap time. Nope. I can't because my bed was too far away, apparently. <laughs> okay. And watch me spawn on the other side of my house. Woohoo! Spawned outside again. I mean, that's what, that means it's slightly quicker, so you don't have to run outside each time. But, how, but if I don't want to be outside, though? Well... So okay. now when it gets back to the trees here... It'll chop down all of the leaves. And then it'll chop down the wood. Oh, for Pete's sake. Give me that. John, the arches. Yes. Rail track. Do we want them? to be dropped one down like this or do we want them to go right up to the top track 
Uh, let me come have a quick look once I catch up to this cart. And as you can see, it will sort of... Come back here. <laughs> it will slowly, as it goes round, burn its fuel to make new charcoal. Oh, okay. In the same way that a furnace works. So what are we looking at? This is this the top of the arch, or do we do it higher, like so it's a slab depth as the top of the arch? What's the thoughts? What does it look like with slab depth? Uh, that's a good question. Oh God! Rainy oh. bits. <laughs> there's another one here. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh no, there's some more here. Yeah. That was ten twenty four. Oops, wrong positions down. I think slab. Uh can you Aqua. put the rest of them up on here? Where the hell did I get aqua brain from? So you need to make sure hold alt and do plane. Uh plane. I'll just take whatever I got. Play. Yeah. Yeah, so you think do that half as the top and then make an arch. And what sort of width so I'm thinking the the stands need to be three wide. Okay. Um I'm kind Ooh. of thinking have a chunky that you have a walkway through here so you'll have one line down just to start this off okay to just have a small archway through so you can come straight out and through to the other side yeah because otherwise you're just going to get stuck because then the next bit over here under this arch is going to be the stable yeah um, so I don't want you to be like properly blocked in. Just <laughs> but that give me that block on the somewhere. It's here. Okay. Um, I need to build me crafty room. Yeah, and then what? So I'm thinking that it would be three wide as like the chunky bit. Because that seems strong enough. And so the question is then, is how close to the next chunky bit? Well, I mean, do we... Do you have, like, a block here and then three slabs and then another block? Or what? Well, that kind of gap? Yeah. To the next upright? Further or less? Maybe a block less? Kind of round off. Oh no, yeah, if we're doing that, yeah. No, that looks about right. Obviously, I want to curve it better. I'm that way inclined. Um... Uh, yes, with cover <laughs> this, you're mad. Uh, what is this for your phrase tonight? That way inclined, yeah. Yeah. Phrase of the day. Um, yeah, so do you think every eight... Yeah. So have eight clear. That looks good to me. Anybody in chat want to weigh in on this? Thoughts, feelings, opinions? Yay, no, I've fallen in the water. <laughs> it's a shame the horse isn't here to look at when you said nay. Yay, nay, maybe. Maybe not. Don't know, can you repeat the question? I'm also thinking, there's a lot of thinking going on today, um, that I might inset this slightly. Can you dream your dreams away underneath those arches? Or oh, you'll be able to when Sean finishes them, yes. Yeah, that's, that's half the plan. 
we might like. I don't know, push these back a bit. Yeah. Obviously, gonna end up doing this bit in creative because. Because of the nightmare of chisel and bits. Yeah, there is just bits flying everywhere. But yeah, so push that back so we just get a little kind of edge. Yeah, I mean, giving a bit of depth to the build that's going to be a lot of cobblestone will yeah. help. Either that or I change <laughs> the Bless you. Thank you. to something else. Like, you know, we do the jelly bean along the top and then we do something maybe flat like the polished that's the thing is um what's ornate to look I'm in intrigue <laughs> that's jazzy don't want that too jazzy uh decision a raid bro Small bricks. Arrayed bricks like that underneath. That could work. Yeah, I like I'm that. I'm going to play around. I quite like the fact that it's deeper as well. To be said. Almost like that. Yeah. That's good. Like that, and then we can on it maybe okay i'm gonna play with this see see what happens i'm also going to chuck a load of stuff in the chest because this is gonna get messy otherwise it's weird i just saw you run past and then i looked up the stream to see jeff's message again and you just ran past <laughs> <laughs> Like, you saw her in the future. Ninja my way through. Right. Um, if you can, and we have some coal, charcoal, whatever, um, can you work on lighting up the track? Uh, one moment. I'm sure I can. Let me just. I just want if to quickly. Got, if you've got a moment to do so. Five machine frames. Yeah, boys. Right. Now, I need to build my... Ah, I need gold there. Uh, gold there. Where was I there? I need gold. Right, that's it. I'll be quiet. One, two, three. Yeah, Sean, between this episode and next, we need to really go on a mining trip. Mining trip. Yep. Okay, that can be. We are nearly out of iron. That can be arranged. Oh, that can be two. What spawning places in Oh, uh, I need more copper bollocks. More copper bollocks? <laughs> John, can you sleep if you buy a bed? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's actually sleep. Fall down. Yeah, I'll, I'll go jump outside my, my own house by <laughs> sleeping. It's fine. It's a new form I'll of teleportation. I'll sleep and just wake up on the other side of my wall. Thank you, game. 
It's a new form of teleportation, Dan. Uh, I know. So what would you do? What What would you do if that happened in real life? You go to bed and you wake up and you and you wake up outside. <laughs> I mean, it would be one way to get me out of bed in the mornings. Bears. That's true, but like, I'm not a fan of the whole being out of bed thing. So, oh, if, oh. if I teleported out through the wall, it yeah, be... but if you're not dressed, then wouldn't that be a bit? It's hard? it's not ideal. I'd be fine walking <laughs> my <pajamas. laughs> Everyone else would be confused to hell and back, but I'd be okay. <laughs> Well, as long as you're fine with it, that, I think that's all that matters, really. And I'd just have, like, a cupboard outside that's like, oh yeah, here's my coat, cool. <laughs> I'm warm now. Sounds about right. Hmm. It isn't, it isn't an ideal solution to the problem, but... Eh, it what you it gonna works. Do? Exactly. Alright, let's make this saw. Eight. Two, three, one, two, three. This is the counting stream, isn't it? It's always a counting stream. And is it not? I mean, whenever I'm chiseling bits, it is definitely a counting stream. Uh, it's undeniable. I need to go find gold. Gold. Uh, uh, gold. Gold. Always believing. <laughs> uh, gold. You're right there, Giggles. Sorry, there's an upgrade for the uh, cart assembler called Industrial Espionage. Wow. Fancy. That's, that, that sounds intriguing. Why is that every time I do that? Press F3 to bring up my stats, and then I press, a, I press escape thinking it gets rid of it. I'm like, Dad, it doesn't work. You keep doing that every time. <laughs> Come on, brain, learn. Learn from your mistakes. Never! I found the. Did I find? Electrotine ore. Yeah, I have no idea Project what that is. Project Red Exploration. Yep. Huh. What is that? I want to retrieve them. Not sure. So have a look at this. Electro. Right, on Project Redcock. So, with this... Uh, power batteries. Okay. Let's just have a look at the battery. Apps. Jet. Project ah, Red. Perfection. So, it's I'm got places and breakers. Definitely can we make this. tools. Armors. Should wrap up in a minute, but I just want to double check and make sure this train is running properly. A lot of lamps. Oh, I like have my face Just seems to be a form of cabling and lighting. Okay. Nothing extra. Got jetpack. There's a jetpack in there. I mean, jetpacks are fun. Uh, actually, it seems. Right, look, it could be fairly easy to actually craft actually jetpack. Nice. I could actually. Well, the only thing I don't have to make it is diamond. And emerald. She needs a diamond chest plate, two emeralds, four batteries, and a battery box. So I've got to think to make everything else. I just can't don't have diamond or emeralds. Have we found any emeralds yet? I don't believe we have found any emeralds yet. We don't. We got the diamonds. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've heard Chris or anyone say that. But... So you stream wrapping shortly then? Yeah. See, Brain, stop it! Did it again. 
<laughs> Are Jesus. you clicking the wrong things? Yes. My brother's like, hey. Lol, dad's gonna do it wrong. Yeah. Oh, it's... Right. Hey, Cole. I might, while, while we're off stream, try and get this bridge finished. That'd be cool. I feel like if ever there was a time to have set up the uh, time lapse, this would have been it, but uh, alas. Maybe we'll also work that out between episodes. That would be cool, yeah. You won't make a time lapse. Yeah, we've been trying to figure out the, the we've, mod. We've got a mod called Multi Shot that allows us to do a time lapse. Oh. It's it's now just a case of working out how to make the mod do the thing. Oh. One of those mods. You basically just leave a floating head places and let it record. Yeah. But it would be nice. It's nice when the viewpoint moves as you're watching. Mm. Rather than just being a static point, I think it just makes it look so oh, much more interesting. Definitely. Um, and that's that's where the complications come in. I... We'll figure it out. Okay, so the Steve's cart cart is chugging along. It's carting nicely. Uh, and basically all you need to do to get it to uh, stop at the cargo holder is throw down an advanced detector rail in front of it. And that detects when it's full, I assume? Uh, that will detect when there is a cart there. Yeah. And at that point, it will hold the cart until it does all of the uh, things. So basically, each side of this uh, cargo manager is a different colour. So there's red, yellow, uh, green, and blue. Okay. And then in here, you can set it so that it will transfer from or to the cart, uh, which yeah. colour it should be and how much of the thing it should transfer. So at the moment I've got it to take everything out of the cart and then it should put back a stack of uh, charcoal into the engine. What I'm also going to oh, yeah. set up is that... Uh, I, 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 I don't like Railcraft. Why? It just fooled me to finding gold. I found poor gold. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, don't like you now, Railcraft. You fooled me. So it now puts. It takes everything out of the cart. Mm -hmm. It then put back one stack of uh, charcoal into the engine so that it keeps running. Yeah. Uh, and one half stack of saplings into the sapling planter. So it can continue that as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so then all I need to do next is uh, start piping out of this and into uh, some sort of internal system of the factory. We have got a computer system in there, haven't we? We do have a computer system inside, yes. Although, whether that's what we really want it to be filling up, or whether we just fill up chests. Is there... and then I guess we can get into if it's full, stop chopping? In theory. And stop going around. Although I guess it depends what else that's pulling, and what else the different... Um, Hole is being used for and whatnot. Um, so this is the the legs on the bridge. Are you happy with this kind of setup? Let me come have a look, and then I'll wrap up the stream. Okie dokes. 
wrap up the run. Yes. Yeah. Looking about right. Yeah, I like that. That looks that looks cool and funky in three D. And then yeah, I wanna try and get a bit of a arch thing going. That's gonna take a bit of playing with, but uh. As Chris would say, that'll take a bit of fettling. 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 Oh fettling. Is that like fettling? Like what? <laughs> What is this word you're coming up with? Just making things up. Uh, <gasps> diamond! Oh, I wonder now if I'm he found to... diamond. Diamond! Looks diamond. like he found Red diamonds. Diamond's best friend. Diamond. Had to be said. Oh, I only have five. Don't have enough to make me diamond armor. Oh. Damn. So close. I could have been. I could be making a jetpack. Sleepy time. Sleepy. 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 I could make a diamond pickup. Okay. I was tempted to put the bed up closer to the ceiling with nothing underneath it, so you could just like climb up into it, <laughs> drop back out of it in the morning. Okay, so that is all we've got time for today. I think we've been we've been successful. We We've could been... do more, I just can't. It, it, it could do more, I just don't want to. Nah, oh, that man's got to get his rest. <laughs> um, so, we kind of went a little bit all over the place, but a lot of train progress. Yes. Uh, was pretty much the course of action. So, now that we've got a lot of charcoal being produced, we can use that to power the uh, regular locomotives. Yes. Uh, which will be nice. Uh, so mm, next we'll time, I want to finish that track so that we've got one loop round to the train station and back. Yeah. Um, which shouldn't be too hard to do. It's 122 is the run. It'll take a it'll take a bit of finding of iron. Yeah, so we've got some mining to do. Yeah. Why do? You, uh, how much iron do you need? Enough to make 122 rails. <laughs> it's not too bad because you need six. Six iron makes 32 rails. Yeah, so it's not terrible. Well, I'm gonna say I'm be pulverizing all my. I'm I'm gonna make a pulverizer so I can get a crap ton more. Yeah. Um. So yeah, next time I want to finish off that and actually build a proper locomotive, like a railcraft locomotive, and get that locomotive running. Um, and then possibly look into building different coloured locomotives for me, Sean, Chris, and Dan. Uh. Because you can paint them different colours. I call purple. Okay. <laughs> Sean, what colour do you want? I mean, given the colour of my bed, I should probably stick to cyan, shouldn't I? You know, I mean, it's up to you. Cyan. Yeah, I'll go for it. Lean into the branding. Yeah. Make it my new branding. It's pretty much my name. Uh, so we'll get that sorted. And then I don't really know what we're going to do after that. Because this is an interesting pop, pop, pod, Mac. Yeah. Those are words mm. I didn't say. Those are all kinds of words. Uh, this is an interesting mod pack. And I want to play with some of the mods that I've not played with. Which is why we're doing Railcraft. We're doing... Steve's carts that I've not played with for a little while uh, and I'm also really wanting to dive into immersive engineering so probably we'll look at some immersive engineering stuff hmm. um, but for now I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so already please do hit that follow button uh, it's a great way that you guys can know when we go live uh, and it's a completely free way that you can support us on the channel. 
Uh, we will be back on Wednesday when Sean, Michael, Sean and Amy and I will be back to play some Golden Tooth uh, as the group uh, explores the library of Biblius. Oh yeah. Um, and hopefully, at some point very soon, acquire the Pyre Mall for uh, Pyralis. That would be nice. Um, and then on Friday, I am starting a run of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, um, where I will be hopefully bringing the FBF crew into XCOM to try and survive the alien threat, and we'll see how long I can keep everybody alive. I'm gonna die first! And Reki is possibly gonna die first with that attitude. Yes! <laughs> um, so stay tuned for that, we'll see how many uh, horrible, gruesome alien deaths occur, and hopefully we might even save the world. Fingers crossed. I kind of like the world. Yeah, I mean, it would be, would be nice. It's where I've got all my stuff. Um, on summer after all. <laughs> on Sunday this week, we're doing uh, the Storm King's Thunder aftermath, as the group start to go their separate ways, having defeated uh, Imrith the Dragon. We see what they get up to in the immediate. Uh, months or so after their great victory against the dragon and um, what is in store for them in this new world what comes next uh, then next week as I say we'll be back with more of this uh, Wednesday next week will be a thing and then Friday of next week is uh it's the 14th next Friday, isn't it? Which means it is Space Odysseus. Ooh, uh, Space Odysseus, the A-Team. Uh, and then Tomb of Annihilation will continue that Sunday. And for now, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.